So, dear friends, hello and welcome for our today's BA in Product Management Conference uh, 2021. We are going to have the conference opening now, and um, you're welcome. We're going to share a lot of interesting uh, topics about what you're gonna he going to hear today and um, what activities you're going to be able to participate within our conference. Welcome to everyone. This is actually our fourth annual conference and disregarding all of the facts of the current situation and COVID and so many changes in the world, this conference is still happening. So congratulations to everyone who is with us today. So before we move forward, let us uh, briefly present today's speakers. And so the first person who you already heard today is Roman Sacher, who is based out of Ukraine. And he's uh, one of the co-heads for business analysis and product management practice at IPAM. And the other speaker you're also hearing and seeing her today is our great Irina Miranos, who is also the co-head of business analysis and product management practice and our great inspirer within the product and uh, business analysis conference these days. And as always, for all of the conference, of course, we have some last minute changes and actually it's going to be more than two people uh, covering this session today. We are going to have a third speaker, Maria, Maria Sugurova, who is based out of Ukraine as well. And you're supposed to, her, uh, to see her here in the video. Of course, as for any last minute change, we didn't update the slides. But um, we are sure that you would hear some great content and some great updates from Maria, because actually this is not the first day of the conference. We know that this is the opening session, but still we already had a workshop yesterday and you definitely would hear more about that later today. Yeah, and Maria is actually our uh, inspiration in terms of workshops, so you'll see more content from her side as well. Uh, so, uh, dear friends, let's start from a little bit of recap, you know, since our last conference in 2021. Um, when I was, when we were preparing the presentation, you know, we checked like our messages uh, during that conference. And, you know, we all hoped that the pandemics only started, you know, and it's gonna finish soon. And we're gonna be back to normal in just a couple of months. And so, so we didn't need to transform much, like except from work, working from home. Uh, but, you know, after a year, we still see that the pandemic is still there and the changes are even more fundamental for, from what we see now, right? Uh, pandemics has changed the ways of we, our work and, you know, most of us are remote now. And uh, we as business analysts, as product managers, project managers and generally IT professionals are very heavily impacted, right? And we are impacted, I guess, the most comparing to all other like industries. Why? Because we can work from home and it's quite easy, you know, and uh, self-evident that we should work from home. And of course, business analysts and product managers, because communication is actually our main part of work, um, it also influenced us a lot. Why? Right? Because you had to move all your communication uh, in online. You know, there is no more like client discoveries on site. There is no more chance to get to client's office, you know, and to sit and get doing a workshop with him. You know, and of course, even explaining like all the work on the product that should be done um, uh, within your project, uh, again, should be done online. So you can get the team, you know, and explain them uh, on the whiteboard what should be done. But of course, it's not so bad. Yeah, of course, we adapted. Of course, we did a lot of things to get better in that, to how to get better and work better in terms of remote. Uh, so we learned to do remote workshop. We learned to explain our team what has to be done, you know, in terms of like online tools and instruments. And I think you already had a chance to reuse them within the conference workshop. So we are learning and that's good. And we should keep doing that. And we really hope that our conferences uh, and like conferences similar to ours, which you are attending, um, are helping you in that and are helping you to build these competencies, this knowledge in how to survive, you know, develop and become better in this new world. So yeah, that's, that's what we see. 
Yeah, so actually we do see quite a big impact of the situation even in, on this conference last year, because um, uh, since last year, uh, because what has happened last year, we actually were just at the beginning of this working from home mode and doing an online conference and attending an online conference where it's kind of a fun to everyone. After more than a year since then, uh, I think we all realized that there is so much online content and there are so many different things that you can do online these days. And to be honest with you, we actually did see their impact of these numbers, um, of this number of online activities, even in the number of the participants who are going to take part in the conference these days. But still, uh, we are happy to have you here. We are happy to see that this conference is still quite popular and we are going to continue doing this work and letting you to learn new stuff, meet new people, even if this not so easy time is going to, con to last for a long time. Roma? Sure. Thanks, Rena. So, and... Um... So we also have goals of our conference, which, you know, we set specifically for this year. And, you know, considering the fact that, uh, you know, in the, again, pandemic time, it's much harder to get together. It's much harder to get the same level of knowledge sharing as we used to have. Of course, uh, the first of our goals would be to become, you know, a conferencing platform for industry dialogue. So, you know, we want uh, all type of speakers, you know, and all type of professions come to us and to conferences like us, you know, and actually build a dialogue. Not only like, you know, just watch the recording or, you know, see the session, but also spark a constructive dialogue within those sessions, you know, maybe even build a connection that you can use after the conference. So again, because this is important in these times of this connection, um, of course, the second part is to enlighten our way, right, to the frontiers of business analysis and product management. And why we are saying enlighten, right, because usually, and we do hope that we do the, our job well, within the program committee, we are trying to select those topics which are the most pressing now, right, which are the most important now and solving all those problems and challenges we are facing now. And basically with that, we are all trying to build together, you know, the next frontier of our uh, directions, right? On how to properly address our challenges we are facing. Uh, yeah, and of course, like share the best ideas and experience and spread them across the globe. Our conference is global, so you are able to join whatever you are. And additionally, like you also are able to watch our recordings, uh, even if you are not able, you know, to join in the general time. And of course, like these best uh, like ideas and experience from previous years are also available. So again, we hope to build this, you know, knowledge base within the time. Uh, yeah, and finally, we are trying and doing our best to move from competition to partnership. Of course, there are a lot of organizations and companies doing conferences, and this is great for our industry. But what we also tried to do, and we hoped we succeeded with this this year, we partnered with a lot of informational partners who are already like are sought leaders in their locations in our main direction. Again, in business analysis and product management, in general software development. And yeah, and we partnered with them in making like our message more like appealing and more popular to everyone. And again, uh, when they do their conferences, we are also be able to support them. So this is something we really hope to build on our market, you know, kind of not a competition, but a partnership uh, because this will benefit all of us. So these are our goals and we hope they are also vibrating for you as well. Um, yeah. And back to Irina. Yeah, so let's take a look at some numbers and some statistics and insights about the conference. We definitely are going to share with you the full agenda, but we want to tell you a bit of a story how that got formed and what we've got on that agenda. Um, last year, we had quite a long conference and we heard you that it was hard to attend the conference for four days. So the, uh, this year, we decided to make it twice shorter if we are talking about the conference 
itself, it's only two days, and then there is an extra day of workshops. And this is um, this extra day of the workshop. This is our try to come back to this more old style um, format when you don't have only sessions or only speeches and webinars, which you can attend during the conference, but also practice um, something um, with some tools and, and more actively participate in those sessions. We actually got the, that workshop being quite popular. Again, more information on that uh, to come later today. Another aspect is the fact that, um, as Roma mentioned, people are looking for more dialogue, for more human-to-human -human communication. And actually, uh, launch of Clubhouse and popularity of Clubhouse is just another proof of that. So this year, we revisited the concept and actually a part of the more classical, more standard sessions in the webinar-like format, we do have quite a big number of the panel conversations, more interactive games, we added workshop, and even for those sessions where we do more classical speakers, we try to invite um, more than one speaker, so it's a um, more interactive uh, session. And with all of that, we absolutely do encourage you to participate actively. There is a live chat next to every session. And to, uh, we promise you that we carefully monitor that for every single session. And uh, believe us, it's you who is driving what's going to happen during those interactive sessions. All of the panel discussions are mostly going to be in the forum of Ask Me Anything, and we do suggest you to um, not only post your questions, but also any suggestions on the topic that you would like to hear about. The same is going to happen with mock interviews, so it's going to be you who can influence what's going to happen during those interviews, and again, we'll sure share more details on that with you. And this year, we're not only doing um, this conference with our internal speakers, internal meaning EBAM, I, I think it's um, uh, not, not a big secret that uh, uh, this conference is being supported by EBAM, but we actually invited quite um, popular external speakers, quite nice people to the conference with names whom we hope you would recognize. And with that, we know that agenda is full of the content, full of those great names, but we wanted to share with you some of the insights and some of the highlights um, that hope will help you to form your own agenda and decide what to attend and what not to attend. Roman? We cannot hear you, Roma. Uh, we see yeah, that you're talking. You know, if, if, <laughs> if I didn't speak on mute, you wouldn't feel actually that we are still, you know. This is live, mode. yeah. So this is actually <laughs> yeah. live and that's great. So guys, uh, yeah, and then supporting what Irina already told us that uh, we are really having a lot of uh, like interesting speakers, you know, and formats within our conference. And we're gonna have just share a couple of highlights to you so you can actually try and select you know what is best fitting for you and what's the most important for you however the thing which we all of course would like to start and if you have any connection to business analysis or requirements we are having our great and renowned uh author carl Vigers, uh whom i'm sure you know basing again on the, his book on software requirements but also being again a process impact principal consultant uh, actually a person who regularly de delivers uh, like speeches, you know, and um, uh, shares his knowledge. So we are going to also have him to get to today or actually tomorrow on our conference and he'll share, you know, his vision on requirements management best practices. And this is again, I think topic which is quite familiar for, for all of us, but it would be definitely a great chance to hear about these best practices from the person who actually, you know, I guess standardized business analysis for a lot of us. Uh, yeah, so, and back to Rina. Yeah, so uh, let us mention another great speaker who is going to present um, tomorrow again, and actually, 
hopefully tomorrow's afternoon is going to be full of these great names and great people presenting at the conference. So the next person whom I would like to introduce is Paula Gray. Um, why she's here? First of all, I should start by saying that she is the person and she is representative of the great organization with whom we partner in starting this year, Association of, Inter uh, of International Product Marketing um, and Management. And if any of you ever heard about product management book, which is Product Management and Markets and Body of Knowledge, this is the organization and this is the person who worked on that book and who created that. And a part of being uh, this great person who is constantly involved in transforming other organizations and creating great products, she is a social scientist. So with that, she is going to conduct a great talk um, where she will talk about the product manager as a boundary role and not only from their kind of responsibility perspective or technical side of the role but um, as a person who serves as a license as a, as a bridge be, uh, between their um, various departments kind of internal interface within the organization and of course, she is going to add some more details on that um, from her background, social science uh, backgrounds, and talk how those various frameworks and um, tools will help their um, culture to be changed and relations uh, in the organizations to be changed. So this is the talk that's again happening tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, if you're anywhere close to CISC time zone um, and basically different uh, time of the day for other time zones. Roman? Yes, and um, also another great speaker and author is uh, Hobart Podesva. Again, you might know him again, because if you are quite experienced business analyst or even a product manager who had a chance to work a lot of, uh, with requirements, you might know him because he is a guru again in uh, business analysis and he created the book UML for the IT business analyst, which is again quite a handbook for all of us if you are going to learn UML, you know, and start creating business diagrams. So. I mean, and he's a fantastic speaker. So I had a chance also to be on his other speeches and that's really interesting, you know, and really inspiring. And also he created the business analysis, uh, business analysts handbook, uh, which is again, kind of a reference manual on how to be business analyst in agile and traditional organizations as well. So, um, I mean, also great author, a great speaker. So we really encourage you to join our, uh, his uh, talk like again tomorrow. Um, and uh, he will be talking about how to reduce rework and impediments in agile development through feature and story preparation. So this is basically about how we, as people who work with requirements, with product visions, with actually the product intentions, can help the uh, development of the great software products. Uh, and again, we encourage you to join it. It should be interesting, again, to ask your questions. And yeah, we hope you really like it. Uh, yeah, and now back to Maria. So yeah, uh, hi everyone. <laughs> I'm pleased to introduce our special guest Rob. I'm happy to work with him, and I'm impressed by his energy and insights. He's a coach and transformation leader for enterprise and for startups. He's strategy advisor, and he's a great author. You definitely should follow him in LinkedIn and Medium. And it's amazing to observe yeah, on practice uh, <clears throat> how he helps teams to grow mindset and discover what customers really need. So join his talk today and master your skills, learn more, and yeah, gain new insights. Welcome. You, yeah, and you know, get insights for coming from Masha, believe us, that, that works a lot. So we definitely do recommend you to, um, to join this session. Okay, so let us move forward and uh, talk about more interactive stuff during the conference. So what else? 
um, a part of their great star speakers uh, that we're going to have, um, as it was already mentioned, we're going to have you being very involved in everything that's happening at, at, as a sessions. And one of the things that we are taking off for the first time this year is two mock interviews that we are going to conduct live. It's actually going to happen later today in the part two um, uh, uh, today, where we are, uh, we'll, we actually been inviting everyone to apply to be a candidate to those interviews. And as of right now, we already know who those guys are and who is going to play this role of the candidate. We actually invited, uh, invited two very real, real interviewers. So these are the people who were, um, whose part of the job is to conduct those interviews. And one of the challenges that everyone is constantly hearing about um, interviews is the fact that it's hard, it's long, it's unpredictable. And, and uh, worse, uh, the worst part of that, that you're not getting the feedback right away. You're not sure, you know, how how you performed how that went and what's the opinion so we decided that this is something that we definitely want to change so in both of their mock interviews uh, we're going to have a commentator who is going to sit right there through the entire session put the comments in the chat and then once their interview done share the comments overall how the session went what was good in terms of the sessions, what was uh, good, not so good in terms of their answers from the candidate. And uh, that's actually going to be a free conversation after um, this interview part. And as those interviews go, um, you actually can put your questions, your suggestions, uh, on the topics to be covered during the interview. So our interviews are prepared to take a look um, at what you are suggesting. So basically you can change the course of those sessions. And also you can ask the question, oh, why didn't you cover this particular topic? So this is all of the types of the input that we are looking from your end. Again, you uh, completely can influence how all of that um, is going to be driven during the interview part. But what's even more important, those people who are going to pass through these interviews, that's absolutely real sin. We're going to either do a job offer if, if the person is going to be interested or suggest a next step in the career to this person. So this is not something fake. We're doing that for real. And, and, and we do think that most of the people apply because they want to do this next step in their career. So um, it's going to be fun. Join us and um, see how that's going. Hear the feedback right away and put your questions in the chat. And our next activity that we would like to introduce, our very nice game that's going to be led by Masha. Masha? Yeah, product management is hot and interesting. And do you know how to grow your product and stay within the budget? Yeah, and maybe even more, make more money. So we prepared a new game for you, and it's fun, fun and lovely, uh, where you should uh, find the best way and remove all obstacles and master product management skills. So welcome tomorrow. We wanted our rescue rangers team, but uh, be careful or hurry up. It's a limited edition. Yeah. Yes, uh, actually this game was quite a popular one as well. Um, we will probably will share with you some news uh, depending on how many, how many people would be interested in both of the workshops.
make the world better. And as you're making this world better, many of us come in, uh, with certain idea in mind what exactly can be done. And of course, we are not organizing the full hackathon over here. We are, you know, we are not in that sphere. But we saw that it would be really fun to take part of this hackathon approach and mindset into the conference. And with that, we suggested to everyone create a quick one pager for the product idea and share that with us. And as of right now, we already closed um, this collection of these ideas and we are going to have the live presentation of those ideas um, at the conference tomorrow with their real judges right there at the session with the Q&A and feedback provided right there at the session. And of course, the winner is going to get the prize. So um, join that session just to see how your colleagues are trying to make this world better, how your colleagues are making a sales pitch, ask a question to your colleague, or get inspired and for the next time think what you can create in terms of the new solution for this world. Roma? Yeah, and of course, again, the all time popular format, something that you always, you know, join a lot. And I, I know like we all like it because we have a very interesting perspective from experts on a topic which is being selected. We are going to have round tables, of course. And we are gonna have interesting round tables on how, how our experts became product managers. So you can learn from their experience. And I think this is quite an important for all of us, right? Because like, uh, again, we, a lot of them are working in enterprise as product managers. And this is an important thing when we can share this experience on how to properly go this way. Uh, also, we have, you know, the talk on how to prepare and pass the business analysis certification. Uh, because again, this is all time, I guess, need for business analysts to confirm their knowledge, to confirm that they are doing great in terms of like business analysis and to adhere to best practices and standards. And of course, like, you know, uh, traditionally our collaboration with the International Institute of Business Analysis. Uh, yeah, and of course, like how business analysts and delivery managers should also collaborate and work together because, you know, um, uh, it's it's always a good, uh, you know, way of working together when you have, you know, a project leader, which is a delivery manager and a product leader, which is a business analyst or a product manager. And, um, you know, to make the most of like this collaboration, we're going to share the patterns and answer patterns and we're going to discuss how you can work in these roles and how you can work in these setups when you have a delivery manager and business analyst. So, yeah, just uh, join us it should be interesting and you know as always traditionally round tables are as interesting because you can ask a lot of questions yeah we are not in the clubhouse but we are bringing the clubhouse part to us right and doing those round, round tables it probably worth seeing that we invited colleagues from different companies with completely different backgrounds to these um panel discussions and round tables so it's going to be very interactive and very interesting and we definitely will wait for you over there okay and um one more thing that we wanted to cover actually this is something that's already happened we had six hours workshop yesterday you know when we thought about that we thought okay one day workshop it's it's doable you know everyone does that uh, but to be honest, um, I've sat through the entire session um, just as a helper and it was really hard. I can't imagine how hard it was for Maria and Alexander who organized those workshops, but we actually got quite a good attendance and Masha will share more insights with you on that. Yeah, guys, yesterday was amazing but crazy day. And the main challenge was to facilitate and drive uh, super teams around the world. We appreciated who was joining us and stayed with us all day. So you are heroes, definitely. And this workshop actually is a, one part of our big program, uh, Product Management Innovation Camp, where we can uh, practice product management technique and uh, approaches so guys uh, welcome to us welcome to master with us product management skills 
within our learning programs. So we have a lot of programs and yeah, it's uh, only part and only uh, small part of this uh, big uh, complex program. So welcome. Thank hey you, Maria. Roma? So, sorry, I was just going to say that again, uh, you get you can check the bits and pieces on the YouTube because it, it as there was again a broadcast on that so you have a chance to get the ideas of what tasks people were doing during that for the product discovery simulation and maybe even reuse you know some artifacts which were produced there because it's also valuable in terms of like the artifacts which were used during the simulation. Yeah, I would say that another interesting highlight for me it was very impressive to manage around 100, 130 people on the workshop, on the online workshop. So it was an, an interesting experience, I think, for everyone who joined that. Um, but again, we'll see if interest will continue to, to be as big as it was yesterday. Who knows, we might organize that for the second time, but we'll see. Okay, uh, let us talk about some highlights in their agenda overall and finally take a look at the agenda. Uh, of course, we don't expect all of you to read this slide. So, uh, you know, don't look at, uh, at all the details. You actually, all of you actually have the same agenda attached to your welcome email that you received yesterday. So if you want to save that or put on your screen or on your desktop, you absolutely can do that. A um, couple of the highlights that we would like to make here. First of all, their entire conference is going to be organized um, into streams to the most part. There are some sessions which are going to be run across both of the streams, but to the major part, we are into streams. We tried to uh, split those streams to be business analysis and product management oriented. But if you take a look at the agenda, you would notice that it's not always like that because we still wanted to fit more content. Uh, so it's kind of, you know, some soft split between those two streams. Um, another key highlight here that we uh, heard you from the last year conference and we wanted to accommodate different time zones. So from that point of view, um, the conference on each day is, is split into two parts. Um, we have some morning sessions, morning in again in CCAS time zone and some evening sessions with quite a big break in, uh, in between those. And we hope that that would allow our two colleagues from various parts of the world uh, to, do, to join at least part of those sessions. And one of the things that we tried to implement this year um, is our slogan, less is more. So we really tried to limit it as much as possible, the amount of the content and the number of the sessions um, that uh, you would be asked or you would have a possibility to to attend and with that simplify all of those change uh, all of those cho choices that you would need to make during the conference. Rama, do you want to share a couple of the highlights for one of our strengths? Yeah, I guess again in terms of like business analysis, I guess I can share a couple of ideas which I would personally uh, like visit, you know, and maybe suggest for you to visit. Again, we have quite an interesting talk about the fraud syndrome syndrome in business analysis. Because again, business analysts are quite savvy professionals. And you know, if when you're getting so high, it's sometimes you can get hit by that one. Uh, of course, we're gonna be talking a little bit also about the processes, you know, how to handle business analysis. Like for example, how to staff and find new business analysts on the market. And I guess this is something interesting for all of us in these hot days uh, of, you know, of this hot market. Um, again, I already mentioned about the mock interview, and we're going to be talking about how to properly collaborate between various um, uh, departments. Uh, yes, and uh, what's more important even, uh, I guess we also have a very good talk today from Robin Wan, who is our key speaker. And that surely should be something that um, you should like. And I suggest you to join that speech as well, because he is one of our key speakers in that sense. And he will help us basically, um, you know, to understand how to do the proper product management, how to do the ideation uh, in the product. So yeah, please just, um, if you are going to select something 
a single talk from today, you are willing to participate, yeah, I would suggest that's uh, the Robert's presentation. Uh, yeah, and if talking about tomorrow, again, as already mentioned, we're gonna have a pause, Carl Vigers and Howard Podestava, so please feel free to join us, right? And um, yeah, we also have in some interesting talks on the consulting, uh, which also is kind of a next step, you know, for both business analysis and product management. Uh, yeah, and uh, how to get prepared to business analysis certification, which we already mentioned. So yeah, uh, feel free to join the business analysis talks and yeah, you get the, the interesting part uh, of the conference. Yes, and apart from everything that was already mentioned, uh, you know, we already shared quite a lot of their information on their invited speakers as well as those uh, more interactive sessions. Um, probably a couple of the highlights from my side. Um, I should mention that one of their winners by the voting on the topic that should be included in the conference was the talk on product management frameworks used by top uh, companies. This is uh, a talk that is happening a bit later today. Um, that actually was choice number one by the audience when we were forming their agenda together. Another um, highlight to mention is the session about their self-education for product managers. Uh, many people are asking how they can become or actually how they can continue their career path in the product management sphere and how they can stay up to date with all of the trends. And for that, uh, we're going to have a separate session, self-education in the day, um, in the day of life of the product manager, conducted by Mike and Nikolai again later today in the second part of the conference today, where they will uh, share their insights on what portals they follow, what are the practices this, uh, practices they use, and how they learn new stuff on a daily basis. And um, uh, for the second part of the conference, yesterday, as it was already mentioned, we have lots of guest speakers. So definitely we'll welcome you over there. And just before those um, sessions will be started and conducted, we are doing um, the uh, we are doing our challenge game with the presenter your dear. So let me invite you once again over there. And actually another interesting thing that is a more tactical one, which we're going to um, conduct is basically show you how to create a solution with low code uh, or no code platforms. And with that, talk about one of the products um, that uh, was used uh, was created actually using this approach. This is um, one of the opening sessions for us tomorrow. And the last but not the least, um, we actually creating our own marketplace. And I, I know that the marketplace topic is still quite hot in many of the areas. So if you want um, to listen more about that, during the session driving solution strategy via solutions hub marketplace tomorrow and you will see how that's done and uh, how it's realized on that product roman yeah uh so guys definitely there will be a lot of things for you you know to uh see during the conference and to attend to hopefully get the chance to get all of uh, you know in all of these places and if you still want, you know, there will be recording. We'll be sharing that later in, you know, our organizational part, but yeah, mm -hmm. uh, let's go step by step. Yeah. And all of that, of course, wouldn't be possible if we wouldn't have so many great partners and so many great teams and people who were helping us all the, uh, all the way along. So let us uh, at least briefly recognize and mention uh, those nice communities and organizations who helped us to organize this conference. Um, yes, and of course, we, as already mentioned, we are trying to partner, you know, and be together with all the main representatives on our markets. So it's IT Network Com UA, the guys who are actually doing, you know, the uh, great Facebook, and they are also doing business analysis conference. Uh, Lampovoy IT, basically the Telegram chat, you also can Google them and find them out there. The Analyst BY, our longtime partner, 
uh, Lviv IT cluster, IT Association uh, of Ukraine, uh, uh, Dev BY, um, E5 Comua, uh, ArtofBA.com, and uh, again, uh, Business Analysis and IT uh, BEMRAS uh, in Telegram. So again, you can check all these partners. They also talk a lot about business analysis and product management. And uh, yeah, you're going to definitely find something interesting uh, joining uh, the, our partners. So yeah, just, uh, just feel free. Um, OK, and um, now, guys, so we still, you know, out of a lot of fun, which we already had today, you know, and out of this insights into what we are going to have today. Um, so here are a couple of, you know, backstage things which you, we want you to know about. So the conference uh, is the most comfortable, you know, and easy for you. And you clearly understand what will be happening uh, during uh, these uh, two days. Yeah, and back to Rina. Yeah, so one of the highlights that we constantly mention in is the fact that we understand that the gender is still quite long and it's uh, really hard to attend every single session, especially if you have your working sessions, your meetings scheduled already. And with that, we do suggest you to form your own agenda. And um, as a quick reminder, you can do that by just going to the agenda page, mousing over those sessions that you really like and clicking, clicking the small icon at the top right corner. And this is something that would create the placeholder in your calendar, book the time for you. And basically you would make sure that, uh, or to the media party would make sure that you wouldn't miss this particular session. So this is what you can use again to um, indicate or uh, somehow highlight for yourself those sessions that you would like to join. Roma, as always, you're talking, but no sound. Yeah, yeah, Yay. <laughs> so um, I was saying that, of course, our events will be on YouTube, so you can watch them and they will be available for you later. Uh, from our colleagues, uh, you know, that want to check still the last year's conference, it's also there. So you can even get quite some interesting topics from the previous year as well, but definitely this year will be available. Uh, the other command, of course, is, you know, for our colleagues from China, which might have some issues with YouTube, I hope that you can uh, somehow handle it via the uh, VPN, you know, which it might be possible. Or we'll also be thinking, you know, of ways to basically uh, put them as well on our video portal, epam.com, so which might be also available. But yeah, uh, wait for the communication from our side uh, later. Yeah, the worst, the worst case scenario, we are going to repeat what we did last year when all of the recordings were published on the video portal outside of the YouTube. So um, that might be a solution, but we'll try to figure something out um, much faster than that and try to fix it within a couple of the hours. Okay, uh, so what else we do encourage you are doing during the conference is asking the questions, staying active, uh, and not only attending those sessions in the listen only mode. And um, as we already shared, is your number of the sessions are going to be driven by you. So your questions are not, not there just because we want to have something in the chat here. It's because uh, we happy to share and answer those questions um, that you have and that are important to you. And it might happen so that not every single question is going to be answered right, right during the session. And uh, we definitely would take those on and answer them in the offline mode and post answers later on. So uh, with that, please do monitor those chats uh, really carefully. And even for this session, even for the conference opening, you actually already have a live chat and you already can put your questions there. We'd have several minutes at the end to cover those. Roma? Okay, yeah, guys, and another good news and another feedback, you know, which we had from the last year is we are gonna have lunch breaks. Again, it's from one o'clock till four o'clock GMT's plus three. Uh, if you are in this time zone, you can count if you're in any other time zone. Anyway, you'll have this 
uh, kind of a chance to uh, get some rebreather because you know a lot of our us still have our daily work. So again, that's for us uh, to have a chance, you know, uh, to to have a small break and get to lunch. And of course, uh, the other interesting part on our on the conference is that we are going to have the best speaker. And traditionally, we might even have some, uh, you know, presents aligned for them. So it would be great if you can like vote because there is on our platform a chance to put uh, the number of stars which you are awarding this particular speaker. Yeah, and of course, this will uh, make us better understand uh, your interests and what you particularly like uh, within within the current agenda. Yeah. And yeah, in terms of the contact uh, for the uh, organizational committee. Yes, so we understand that sometimes you would like to share your feedback, help us to make the conference better. We do hope so. Um, you can email all of your suggestions and bigger questions to their um, org committee email address. We try to make it more simple for you. So it's not the full name of the conference in the email. So it's org via conference and that's it. And of course, uh, for each of the sessions, so we have not only the live chat, which is um, ongoing as we as we talk right now, uh, but we also have the comments session as sorry comments uh, section, and we do encourage you to read the talk, read the speaker, and put your comments there. We would carefully monitor that as well. So please use that as one of the channels to reach out to the speaker or to the org committee as you see in it. Roman? Okay, and uh, that would be it for our conference opening. Quite a lot, you know, of content, but we really hope that you liked it, you know, and now you're even more inspired and to get in out there, you know, to listening to our speakers and getting the most of it in terms of participation, you know, asking questions and getting this new knowledge. So we wish you a great time. Again, you have a chance to uh, contact us as organizers. And again, we'll see you definitely on the closing part where we will be sharing the results of our conferences. But meanwhile, I think we'll also see each other in different events, in chats, and yeah, we will be able to, uh, to communicate as well. And uh, just before we would move to the Q and A part, um, uh, let us remind you that we basically have their schedule and agenda for the entire conference. But uh, you should remember that there is going to be like technical breaks uh, between every session. Uh, that's going to last probably around five seven minutes. Um, and our next session, which is going to be run across both of the streams or um, around um, the topic, how I became a product manager with a number of the great speakers. Uh, so join us over there. And so let us go through the cure, uh, through the questions that were posted in the chat so far. So a number of the questions posted there were uh, about whether this conference uh, is recorded. So yes, we do record everything. And yes, it's going to be published afterwards. It will take us probably a couple of the days to process those videos because obviously we are um, cutting what's not supposed to be in the session. And all of that is going to be published on YouTube so uh, you can find it. You already actually can take a look at their uh, sessions from the last year. Uh, all of those recordings can be found on their community Z channel under the separate playlist called Business Analysis and Product Management these days. And this is where we're going to uh, publish videos from this year as well. Uh, okay. Scanning through the chat. Yeah, so there's also a question regarding the whether the workshop is available uh, online, I mean, like recorded. So yes, it has been recorded, it's out there, it will be available in Community Z as well as in YouTube. So you can check it out and yeah, if you want maybe to try and run it on your own, you can try it, yeah, uh, with, with all the materials that are there. However, you won't get any feedback, unfortunately, from the live, um, from Maria and Alexander, from our uh, uh, live speakers. Yeah. 
the next question from the chat here about the mock interviews. So registration links, which were shared before, those were for their potential uh, candidates for the interviewer. If you'd like to join those sessions in the listen only mode, you absolutely can do that exactly in the same way how you would do that for any other session. So those, uh, those interviews are going to be broadcasted and they're going to be available as any other session um, on their community Z website and they're going to be recorded and published afterwards as well. Okay, scanning through the chat for the remaining questions to see if there is anything that we did not address so far. Okay, it, it looks like we covered most of what we're uh, supposed to cover. So let us remind you about the next um, next uh, session. So Roma, if you might switch the slide. Uh, yeah, so our next session is on the topic how I became a product manager. It's uh, people from different companies with different backgrounds. Some of them had the long way to product management, some of them uh, stepped in into the product management shoes right away. And they will share their stories as well as share some insights on the challenges um, and some probably easy parts or some uh, more hard parts that they saw in their uh, past year product management. Uh, we're going to give you an extra minute to post any questions if you have them in the chat area. And looks like no. So it's going to be it for the conference opening then. Welcome to everybody once again. We are really happy to have you here. Hope you would enjoy the content, you would enjoy the conference. We do look for your feedback and suggestions and um, stay with us on, on the same stream. Hey guys, hope to see you during the conference and see you then later. Thank you so much. Have fun and enjoy. Bye.